Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel, See Beyond Today. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Share, please do. I am here to give you everything God has put inside of me. My gift is to be an encourager, to encourage you, to motivate you, to make you laugh, to, I am just myself and I keep it real. Yes, I do keep it real. I would tell you what I feel. I would tell you how it is. It is what it is. So on today, I just want to let you know, be you. Be yourself at all costs. You can't be anybody else. And I think that's um, something that sometimes can be really challenging, especially new to this platform. I really struggle like goodness. How could I not get tied up in the other things that everybody else is doing on YouTube? For the hits or to, to for people to subscribe or for this or that. I can't. I have to be me. God called me to be me and only me. And if I'm mixed up and looking around at everybody else and being distracted, then everything God put in me is going in vain. I realize in this world that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle, and that's what the Bible said, you wrestle against spirits and wickedness in high places. The devil don't want you to do your job. If he do his job, if you do, if, 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 if you, he don't want you to do your job because that's working more for his kingdom. He don't want you to do God's job because you're working for God's kingdom. He, in so many words, he, excuse me, he don't want you to do what God has called you to do. He want you to do what he wants you to do. And that's when you have to tell them demons, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Be yourself and who God created you to be. Let's not worry about what they doing over there. What this person is doing over here. That is just noise and distraction to, to, to take you off God's path. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to really, really think about that. Because that in, in a nutshell can take you to a new level in God. When you truly focus on what God has called you to do and not being distracted about the people and the voices in the world and, 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 and this contaminated uh, wickedness in this world, you are going to a new level in heights. So a person may see you, for example, going, working at a homeless shelter and they say, Ah, oh, you're there only making $2 an hour. Why are you working there? You qualified to do something else. Yes, do what you're qualified to do. But most of all, is this what God has called you to do? Is this the gift that what God has put you in? If you do your service, God is going to make sure you're blessed. When you're a giver, it says you're going to press us down. Everything is going to press down and run over in abundance. So ask yourself a question is, why are you being deceived by the enemy when God has gave you all the keys to success? Hmm. Instant gratification is really powerful, too, because you want something right away. You want to see results right away. It's not right, where, it's not right where I want it to be. It's not this. So dedicated to this for, for what? For what? It's not getting me what I want, but it's giving you everything you need spiritually. Some people have everything financially, and they are weakened inside. They just burnt out. They just feel lonely. They just missing out on so much. I had a friend, um, actually, we were talking, and we were talking about um, 
how believers don't have that much compared to non-believers. And when I got off the call with her and got through talking to her, I realized it's a song that goes in my head like this. Silver and gold, silver and gold, I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. Don't give me a world on a shallow thrill. Don't give me any shallow. Because guess what? I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. I'm not going to sell myself out because what I feel at that particular time is silver and gold. But God is telling me to do something else. Jesus is ordaining me to do something else. If I'd rather have Jesus, then I have to present that in my everyday walk. You cannot get caught up by the things of this world. These things of this world will have you selling yourself out for red bottoms, Louis Vuitton, and a mansion. Don't get me wrong. Do I want it? Yes, I do. But do I want it that bad that I'm willing to, to, to jeopardize myself and what God has called me to do? When you start doing all of these type of things, you get caught up into gods, fake gods. This YouTube could be a god because you're trying to do everything else to get these little gods to like you or to present yourself in front of them in a platform. I don't got time for it. Don't nobody got time for that. And I don't. I'm going to do what you call me to do, God. And when you're ready for this, to, this channel to manifest and to break off, you will in the mighty name of Jesus. It is your will, God, not mine. I declare and decree that you use this channel to your full capability. Don't allow me to get distracted by any things to get hits or subscriptions or people subscribing. Let me do this for the will of God only. Let me do this to, to, to give God the glory. Let me use this page to motivate people, this channel rather, to motivate people. If you want to be motivated, come on in. Come on in. You want to get some changes in your life, come on in. Because as I'm ministering to you, I'm ministering to myself. Let's not get caught up. Are you dedicated to what God got in your life that he presented in your life the gift that he has for you are you dedicated now I no longer I'm not worried about what nobody else think about me anymore I'm not worried anymore I'm not worried about how things are going to get done because I'm being a service to my God I'm being a service I'm using this platform to be a service not about he say she say or who did what who hell we even flopped on the side and what wig is twipping to the side. Oh, I'm going to make you laugh. You're going to get a joke here, here. You're going to get in some enjoyment in life because I love to laugh. But I will tell you what's real as also. Although I walk through the valley of death, I should not fear any evil. I don't fear nothing that the devil got for me. Because God will make my enemies my footstool. So if God's going to make my enemies my footstool, and if I walk through the valley of death, I shall not fear any evil. It's not like things are going to be pretty good. It's not like everything's going to work out for its good. Everything will work out for its good. Be patient. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't get discouraged. Don't. Are you listening? Although I walk through the valley of death, I shall not fear any evil. Do not get discouraged. Boys and girls, gents and, and ladies and squirrels and dogs and cats and whatever you want to call yourself, don't get discouraged. Hold on to his promise. What is it? Habakkuk chapter 2. It may delay but it'll come. Watch from the watchtower. It will come. I want you. God want you. To use. Your gifts. And why he created you. Let's not get distracted. Let's not get disturbed. Let's not get anxious. The Bible said don't get anxious. Or, 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 or for the things in this world. 
Don't get anxious. There's no need. Keep cool. Keep calm. When you feel those things manifesting in you, talk to yourself. Encourage yourself. When you're trying to make those bad decisions, say, shut up. Shut up. What are you talking about? That's not what God promised me. It's okay. It's going to be okay. So with that being said, I thank you all so much for taking out your time and listening to me. I am battling with want to do something different. But I know God has called me to do exactly what I'm doing. With that being said, give things time. Keep giving it to God. And I promise you it will work out for his good. Stay blessed. And I'm looking to hear from you soon. Leave a question. If you have a question, ask me a question. You have a comment. Comment. Thank you so much. Enjoy.